Oh wow. Welcome back to another episode. Devin and I thought it was going to be a routine kayak session this morning and we pretty much got stuck in the mud out here after a torrential downpour kind of like ahead of uh, Hurricane Laura and look at this dude. Oh my gosh. I mean we almost got stuck five times y'all. It was insane. <laughs> it was nuts. We did like a donut out here. I was trying to not stop this truck because it was sinking, sinking, sinking dude. But we made it out and we're still intact. We got the kayaks ready to go, man. And uh, we're also joined by another gentleman out here on more of like a Pelican style boat with a trolling motor. We're gonna be throwing big baits only on my kayak. I'm gonna be throwing the big stuff, I think. Let's go ahead and get out on the water, man. I just gotta get the battery for the trolling motor over on the Old Town Canoes Autopilot 120, the big bait box, and we'll get after it. Oh boy, the things we do to fish a secluded pond. Here we go. We got the glides, we got the, the gills, we got all the goods in here. And this is our boat ramp for the morning, guys. Gotcha. There we go. Come on. Come on. Ooh. Could be. Come here. Dark sleeper. First fish for me. Dark sleeper doing work. Oh no. His whole face is blown out. You destroyed my dark sleeper. Third cast, fourth cast. Pretty fish. Lesson's on. I'm throwing the rising sun, you guys. That's awesome, dang. Got one, doubled up. Rising sun. There we go, he's a good one, babe. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, he's fighting. He's a good one. Yep, that's a good one. Yep, come on up here. Oh, no. About a four pounder. Yeah, that was crazy, y'all. Did we bring the other rising suns? Okay, cause this one's this one's like too torn up to keep using. I think four pounder to start the day. This rising sun is way too torn up, y'all. I already fixed him earlier from yesterday's like first catch on him, but he's, look at all that glue, all that hardened glue. I'm gonna have to melt some other plastics to this thing to keep it intact, I think. Gotta rig up another one. I saw only as I was flipping him that the hook just had a little bit of his top lip. It, uh, he was hooked good. That wasn't the issue. You guys saw him fighting. But what happened is that little piece just kind of tore as I lifted him up. So the ideal scenario there would have been to just keep it tight and grab his lip and bring him in the boat. Uh, the whole kayak flip was a bad idea. What a good sign, man. Big bait's right off the start. Rising sun by 316 lures. Yeah, this dude is, uh, might be out of commission. <laughs> Just had a hit. There we go. <laughs> I set that hook on him so hard. <laughs> what were you thinking, little dude? On the rising sun, I was just anticipating a much bigger fish. So when I set that hook, this dude came flying out of the water. On the drag queen color too. Awesome. All right, but thanks for playing, but I want to go for much bigger with that. <laughs> Eight. Try and rig this guy back up. I got his lips all back together. Um, I went ahead and I don't have the mend it on the boat with me. This is the exact same stuff. We're gonna let it kind of chill for a second and dry. They sent it with the order complimentary whenever we ordered some soft bait. So uh, kudos to them because uh, this is a game changer. I know Weston talked about the mend it in a previous video. We've been using this stuff on almost everything and it comes in handy when you're out on the water to go ahead and kind of Frankenstein your baits back together. It like dries super quick. I wanna catch some more fish on this dark sleeper. I'm having a lot of fun with it lately. There we go. Come here. Oh. Oh no. Come here. Oh, he's big, Weston. Oh, 
<laughs> Goodness. Holy moly. That dark sleeper is gone. <laughs> Guys, where's that dark sleeper at? Where is it? <laughs> All right, guys, my Frankenstein up dark sleeper has had a life with him. I want to say this is probably my biggest fish caught on that bait and very potentially might be its last because this guy is on its last leg. That is no joke at all. Beautiful fish put up an awesome fight. We're going to go ahead and get him on the scale. Get back to fishing. 3.39. Big chunk. What? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Casting along the bank is what it looked like I saw. Yeah. All right. Yeah. No. no. I just started it. Get it out of your system. Another on that dark sleeper. Solid fish. Totally. These guys. Oh my God. Look at this football. Holy. This fish is so wide. Holy moly. Look at that freaking fish. He is like a freaking football. <laughs> Short, fat. I gotta go over to show Weston this fish. You gotta see this little freaking tank. Paddling over. We're going to see Weston. <laughs> oh, look how fat this fish is. All right, let's go ahead. One last look at this little football. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. I think that's fish uh, number three, four, four or five for me. Back in the game. Oh, oh, under the boat. Dang, guys. That could have been my second. It's like my third miss. I suck. Got him. There we go. All right, one on the mission fish. Thank you. There we go. Come on up. Whoo! Man, it has been a minute since I've caught anything. Let me tell you that. Ah, mission fish bringing it home. Thank goodness over there in the shallows. I had, woo! I had a hunch. Okay, let's get this thing backed off of here. It has been a moment, but the first cast over there in the shallows is what done it. Probably a two pounder just because she's fat, but nothing to uh, write home about. A nice catch on the big old swim bait though. Seven inch mission fish. Wowzers. Okay. You have a good one and thank you so much for hitting the big baits today. Kayak fishing, man. See ya. Cool, man. Been throwing that glide bait for a, uh, you know, solid 10 minutes. Just working the edge of the pads here. And they seem to be a little bit lower. I mean, I kind of assumed that earlier, but... And, and I don't think I'm wrong either. I haven't worked too much of this. But I did assume that if I work enough of the bank line here hitting the shade edge with that glide bait, I could get lucky. Cause the thing is, even if they're kind of down low, the right fish in the right mood would hear that splash on the surface and probably investigate and see it is a big old meal in the summertime. So I won't say it's not gonna get any hits and I'm probably gonna continue to throw it, but let's chunk this mission fish back out here again and see if I can't get a catch. I was just working it through the grass. I had just popped out of some thick grass, y'all. Working it with the two hands just to kind of feel pop out of the grass. I'm caught in it again and it's thick. Now here we go, I just broke free. Now I'm sinking. And so I'm just letting that drop to the bottom tail fluttering. And that's exactly when I got the hit. As soon as I got out of the thick grass and started falling down to the bottom. And that's oftentimes when you'll get those hits on the mission fish. Are you guys enjoying the big bait videos? L hear me out, would you trade the tips and just kind of like the insights on these bigger baits for less catches per video because the thing is if we throw these big baits regularly you know odds are you catch less fish right i mean devin's been throwing the dark sleeper a smaller profile swim bait and she's been getting a lot of fish today now it is so much more rewarding almost to catch a fish on these big swim baits it's so crazy and then also generally speaking the bites are going to be bigger uh, obviously that first fish I had in the first few minutes out here is about a four pounder. It's not that you're not going to get a four pounder on any of these other baits out there, but it is fun throwing the big swim baits. So all I want to know is if you guys are enjoying this stuff. And if so, we will keep cranking out the big swim bait videos. It seems like we do get a lot of love when we post these. Like in this new swim bait rod, man, the Mojo Bass 710 Heavy, rated for up to four ounce baits. That's a, a two and a half ounce 13 fishing glide bait. So, rusty brim is the color on that thing. I believe it's called the Glidesdale. And uh, yeah.
Yeah, come here, bub. <laughs> you had it for a second. Oh, that fish. Come here. Come on. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Switched things up for you guys. Went ahead and tossed on a Texas rig. Another solid two and a half pounder. And as I was giving him a dip, he did a good old head shake and uh, got away with me. So I didn't get that release, guys. He's back in the water safe and sound though. So let's go ahead, toss around the Texas rig a little bit more and get some more fish. Biospawn XO ribbon. I think it's the 10 inch. There we go. Come on. Come on. Stay down. Gosh, you were all the way over there. Oh, you might be the big. Yeah. Woo woo. That dark sleeper right there is probably one of my favorite baits right now. Doing some work, basically two and three quarters. Beautiful fish, man, I am having a blast out here. Morning fishing in before I've got to go to work later on this afternoon. Having so much fun out here with these fish. Alright guys, so on that note, I think we're going to go ahead and call it. Like I said, I wanted to get out in the morning, do some fishing before I had to work later on this evening. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. We had a ton of fun out here slaying on that dark sleeper yet again. The Rising Sun, obviously your go-to Texas rig with that Biospawn XO ribbon. All right guys, so on that last fish, we're gonna go ahead and call it, get the Liax loaded back onto the trailer and head back to the house. Like I said, we just wanted to get out and do a little bit of fishing this morning. The weather was just too nice. It was in the 70s, now it's like, getting up to the mid 80s and um, that's way cooler than it has been in Texas. So it was awesome to get out on an early-ish morning bite. I call it early. We're not the craziest early morning fishermen. We need to change that up because I know those fish love that early morning bite. Anyways, want to get out before I had to head into work later on this evening. Hope you guys enjoyed. We had so much fun throwing all sorts of different baits. Um, I'll tell you what, that dark sleeper, like I said, whenever I was holding on to that fish is one of my biggest confidence baits right now. We had so much fun throwing it. I got my first catch on the rising sun. Obviously the good old Texas rig. We hope you guys enjoy and we'll catch you guys back at the house. What's up y'all back at the house. Couple days later, it is uh, pouring out today. I mean, we have gotten inches and inches of rain. Anyways, that's besides the point. Today's video is now over. So guys, before we end it, let's go ahead and hit the like and subscribe button. If you're not subscribed, you're not going to see any of these future videos, man. YouTube isn't going to push in your direction unless you say you want to see more. So go ahead and hit that, and we'll catch you on the next video. Peace out. <gasps>